episode of Salt Shaker. Um, I just basically just uh, finished watching Zazob's uh, tournament, and it was really, really cool. Um, I just wanted just to say a few things before we get into the podcast. Uh, I will also cover this uh, in the middle of the podcast and somewhat in the end as well. So um, before we get into the podcast, let me say this. Uh, call us crazy, but we are looking for a sponsor um, you know, and we're looking to sponsor one of you to compete in the Southern Cross Up. That's right. We heard you heard us. Yep, you. One of you in the crowd. You will be representing the Salt Shaker brand to your name at the tournament. Uh, all you need to do is follow me on Twitter and send me a tweet of why you should be in the Southern Cross Up tournament. It's that simple. Do it. Do it now. Also, next week we will be doing some giveaways, uh, some prizes, some vouchers. You name it. It's going to be in the next podcast. Why am I doing this, you ask? Simple. Just because I love this community. Um, we wouldn't be having this podcast if it wasn't uh, for all of your guys' support. And um, thank you for supporting me in this idea of doing a podcast in the first place. Uh, I've also set up a page uh, and I'll be taking some tips. Uh, you will see that in the description uh, on my channel there. Um also, you know, I just basically just want to say, you know, I don't really need any equipment, don't need, need a new computer, um, just to let you know that this is absolutely zero profit. Um, all of these donations will be going towards prizes for me just to give out. Um, you know, there's going to be nothing to hold back on. So there'll be vouchers, PS4 vouchers, uh, Xbox One vouchers if you guys want. Um, it's all coming back to you guys. So please donate. $10, you can donate $5, you can even donate $1, just every amount counts, please donate and give a little back, so uh, what are we waiting for there guys, just donate, give us, uh, yeah, just, just let us give back to the community, right, without further ado there guys, um, I have with me Virtual Bacon, the artist that's uh, behind all of uh, the drawings that, uh, that I've been getting, uh, Milky, who's also a really, really good Tekken player uh, in the community. Um, they'll be joining us very, very shortly. Hey, what's, what's up, up, Internet? It's Virtual Bacon. This is Cornova. Hi, this is Squishy Bird. Hey, this is NCH. This is Zazo. And you're listening to... And you're listening to... The Salt Shaker Podcast. The Salt Shaker Podcast. To the Salt Shaker Podcast. The Salt Shaker Podcast. Welcome to the Super Soul Shaker Podcast. Chrono. Get ready for the next podcast. All right. Thank you very much for everyone that's uh, tuned into the Salt Shaker Podcast. I have with me uh, Thomas Zen from, uh, yeah, <laughs> Thomas Zen, a Asuka player. <laughs> Uh, also known as Virtual Bacon. Hey, Thomas. What up? <laughs> what up? Uh, and I also have Milky here, Jewel Lin. Hey, Milky. Hi. How's everything going for you two? It's uh, really good. I just rushed over from work, so... <laughs> you just I, rushed over from work? I just came third in the tournament. I'm, I'm a little salty, but at least, at least I get my pink name. That's all I want to say. Thank you to uh, Zarzov for giving me my pink name. And... Uh, Connor and CA for actually putting it into action. Yeah. <laughs> man, Tom, you're not really a, a man of words, eh? Oh hell no. <laughs> uh, well, no. Just start off. Start us. Start us off there. Um, how did you come up with um all these um you know all these drawings and stuff? Oh well, um, one day uh I was like like maybe four or five a.m. in the middle of the night. Uh, I got pretty bored and. Got tired of my boring old Facebook profile picture, so I figured, you know, what the hell, I'll just draw a new one. Um, obviously, I, you know, drew the first one, and then a whole bunch of my friends, you know, Dave, Amos, Loose Moose, um, Ben, shout outs. Shout out. <laughs> um, yeah, so they all requested an image, so I drew the one, and eventually, you know, then Steve, you know, he wanted one as well. Oh. <laughs> no, well I was the one that wanted one the most, really. Yeah, was, like, and, just pestering you every yeah. day. And he asked, oh, can you draw one for all my friends? I'm like, yeah, man, you know, calm down. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah, I drew one for Steve, and eventually, you know, got on to everyone else, Shane, Pierre, um, Julian, 
Yes. And pretty much anyone that asked. And mm. now, if you guys want one, jump on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, no, that's that's the reason why our next um, two are so eager to jump on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are going to love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, no, nah, so, uh, yeah, you were also the guy that actually... I- I'm just going to give you the credit now. You're also the guy that also came up with the name Salt Shaker because you sort of had this idea in your mind, um, you know, to sort of bring up, uh, bring this up. I mean, when I pitched out the idea of uh, of the podcast, I never had a name. So you actually told me, you're like, hey, Steve, man, you really need a name. Yeah. <laughs> you really need a name. So, I mean, we were coming up with a bunch of names, eh? Like, um, and, none of them, and all of them sucked. <laughs> yeah, like Chrono's Unfiltered Corner, Chrono's <laughs> Salty Lounge, <clears throat> and, and everything. Like, what what came up with this epiphany? Yeah, so the name, um, when I was drawing these portraits, I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea if I did a big character select screen as well, and I chuck all my friends on it. Um, I remember that. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. I was like yeah. right in the middle. And, right and, in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. And, and sadly, I didn't have enough friends at the time. So I had to draw... You still don't have enough friends. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell everyone that. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I had to add in like Sub-Zero, Akuma, you know, all those other random characters, Daft Punk as well. But um, yeah, so uh, that's where I got the name from. I just figured it would be pretty cool if I just made all my friends into a fighting game. Because the extreme thing. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, true. So, um... Julian, like, uh, mm-hmm. I know that you actually came into, uh, you know, our community quite late. Yeah. You know, tell us about how actually... you started Tekken. How did you, you know, how, how did you come into the, um, the community? And, um, you know, how did you become this really awesome player? Oh, you know this story really well. I know the story, but I it. want everyone to know, yeah. you know? Okay, I want to quickly shout out to Zooey, Mama, and Effective, who are, like, my close friends from Overwatch. Thanks for watching. That is a ticking point. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just wanted to say hi to them. They're my son. But, um, so the story on how I got into Tekken, I think it was maybe 2013 at Armageddon. I was dressed as Alyssa. And um, I saw, um, that's when I was playing like Halo competitively. And I think it's Adversity Gaming had like their booth with Standing Fierce. I really wanted to like play Halo at Armageddon. But then I was like, oh, wow, Tekken's, Tekken's here. I'll play it. And um, always shout out to the Standing Fierce guys because they are the nicest people. And they've created such a great fighting game community. They really are. They really right? They're so cool. Yeah. yeah, they're the best. So I like approached them and they were like, wow, you're dressed up as this Tekken person. Why didn't you play Tekken? And then I bodied like 20 people in a row that day. You know, at Armageddon, to be fair, it's like randoms and stuff. And then they were just like, yeah, you've got to come to one of our um, nights at uh, in the city when they were doing it. And what's that? Net Cafe? Giga? Giga Cafe? Giga Cafe. Yeah, Giga yeah. Cafe, yeah. So I have like mad social anxiety and I'm really introverted. And I was like 17, 18 at the time. And it was like midnight that I was going to this net cafe in the city. And I went with a close friend who knows nothing about gaming. And the moment I stepped into the net cafe, it was I, all dudes. Wasn't it was it? all dudes. And I was going to leave. I was so <laughs> terrified to be there and my anxiety was really high that I that I was going to turn around and this is this is why it's sweet and then Steven or Quono comes Don't in say that. Quono <laughs> comes and you you just you're like hey hey are you here to play and I I was just like um yeah and you were just like no 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 come in and and like watch um come and play and you're like what what are you playing and I'm just like Tekken and you're like I play Tekken as well and honestly it's from you doing that I don't that even I didn't remember give up. that. I don't I remember always that remember at it. all. Because you did that, I didn't give up. Because I was going to like pack it up, never play Tekken like offline, never go to an arcade. I was like, I'm done and stuff. You were okay on an arcade stick as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, these hands are good at a lot of things. But no, that's true. Like you honestly, I always credit you. If you didn't like help me through that moment of like a panic anxiety attack, I would have just like left, never gone to an arcade. And you 
I still remember because you made to the finals against Jordis, and I was just like, can this random guy I don't know please win? And I don't think you won. No, I came second yeah. that day. But you he, were like... he basically, so what I did was I bodied him <laughs> um, on the first set, yeah. but then basically what he did was he started playing Panda and Kuma. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I have no idea how to play these guys, yeah. like how to play against them. Mm. And that's when it just went downhill. I should have actually... Um, I remember playing Lars and Yoshimitsu mm. on the very last time, but um, yeah, I, I just basically, I, I didn't have the fundamentals yeah. and I was like, nah, that, screw this. That was tag two. I mean, it was. I didn't like it. I don't think anyone was good at that <laughs> yeah, period of time. Either. That was like a really Except weird time. Except Abuji. <laughs> yeah. Abuji's always no, good at every then, game. No, back then, BG was the best. I'm always team BG. I, if BG's listening, I love you. But yeah, I was always team BG back then. <laughs> but yeah, because of that, and then you told me, come to um, Time Zone and play some. And I and from there, I was just like, sure. You know, thanks, stranger, for doing that. And that led to like a lot of things, because that then led to um, me meeting Tom. That's an infamous story. That Which has two st- no, two sides, by the no, way. No, I am the right side. Can I can I tell the story? You can do whatever okay. you like. It's <laughs> gonna, about you too. I want to tell this story. How I met Virtual Bacon, my arch nemesis for life. So, I I went to Media Design School. If anyone knows where it is, and uh, I was on doing what was it? I was doing um web design, and um every day I would go to like Time Out or Time Zone just to get the jackpot for Tekken Tag Two because I love customizing my characters. And I was at timeout, and I played for maybe one hour, and I never could get the jackpot. I don't know what it was. So I walk to uni, and that's five minutes away. I sit down in uni. I immediately bring up the Tekken net, and then I see someone took the jackpot, like, within five minutes of me oh, stopping. No. I was, oh, I was no. pissed. I was like, what What in the world has happened? And I saw it was, like, taken by virtual bacon. And I, I, I put, like, a, a hit on this guy. I made, like, little posters with, like, a pig on it and a cross. And it was like, virtual bacon, I'm calling you out. Like, I called him out old school style. <laughs> I made posters. And I would, like, stalk time out and time zone for, like, a month, a full month, looking for this virtual bacon who stole my jackpot. And what made it worse was two weeks later from the initial time he stole it, he took it again from me. And I, I was done. This I was going to take this guy down. I was going to do whatever it takes. To like destroy this virtual bacon and did um did we play uh no and both times i won those jackpots first game it was the best feeling ever <laughs> i could punch you but wait do we play afterwards yeah so afterwards uh this is my side of the story now um so i this was when i was in me design school i it was what after halloween, halloween. Was it? yeah halloween so all my friends ditched me and went home that day and i was like oh you know whatever i'll just go to time zone and you know, just kill time until my bus comes. So I started playing Tekken. And then that's when Milky um, rocked down with her friends that day. And, you know, I was the only one at TZ that day, um, oh, that night. This is where you lie. This is where you lie. I don't lie. It's the okay. truth. Okay. It's the truth. Serious. And, um, yeah, so she came over to her friends. And I remember real clearly that she didn't want to play. And then her friends said, oh, no, Julie, you should play. She should sit down and reverse them. You know, after a couple minutes of convincing, you sit yeah, down. Yeah, I didn't know you were virtual bacon. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't know I was virtual bacon. Because he's a time. card chicken. I was not a card chicken. So did I see your name? No, because oh, you come didn't. Come on, man! The... <laughs> you, you gotta admit, everyone was a card chicken yeah. at one point. Like I was a card chicken at <laughs> like five and six, but then I just didn't care anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so you know, you you sat down, we played, and we played three, four games. Yeah. Yeah, and the first three I win, and in the fourth one you beat me. Yeah. And then I stood up and I went, good game. No, I gave up, me the thumbs no, up. No, he and stood I said, up and he's like, you were trash. You never play again. And he left. He's like, you weren't worth my time. I did not and say that. Left. I did not then say that. Come on, guys. Stop bickering. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay. And then after that was my, the same friends who went to the arcade with me at the time. They went to explore the university and then they rushed down to me because I was a good girl who was studying. And they were like, hey, there are people playing Tekken in the, like, rooms whatever like yeah, break the, rooms the game whatever room, yeah. the game room you should go and like check it out so i go and i'm like hey what's up and then i notice it's like the guy with glasses at the arcade who was rude to me and <laughs> you were rude to me i was not rude to you. and then you're like hey come and play and i was like sure and then you start ask asking me like oh like do you play at the arcade i'm like yeah maybe 
sometimes and you're like oh like, cool well, what's your name and i was like milky and i was like what's yours and then he's just like oh i'm virtual bacon and then i just like stand up on this table and i just point at him and i was like you asshole you don't know how long i've been looking for you yeah and you are in my building <laughs> and and then you kind of stormed off a bit, and then you came back afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stormed off because I was like super upset, and I came back, and then yeah, then the rest is history. Then um, you yeah, then I started bringing tag two into yeah, the uni like every day. morning, every morning, and then every morning we'd play. Yeah, all this dedication, man, like yeah. Yeah, just for the game. Yeah, it just seems like you know just everybody just loves the game. Yeah, and um, not me. You know, and then you just have all these stories to tell. <laughs> no, I wanted to just kill him. That's, you just want to kill him? Yeah, that was my motivation well, that's, at the that's start. still a memory. That's, I guess. Right, you know, I it's guess. still a memory. Yeah, I've spent many mornings arguing <laughs> at uni. So who is the best at this moment? Out of us two. At the beginning, I will admit, you are good. Wow, that's a first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's, a, that's a first. That's I, a first. Okay, well, who's the best now? Are you asking me or him? I'm at... I'm asking I'm, I'm staying well away from this. <laughs> you know, wait, so, it's going to it's gonna be a bloodbath and I have to clean it up. You know, wait, that, that's who, what it is. Who's the best? Really? You're doing I this? don't think you know this, but I just came third tonight and I have a pink title on Discord. Shout out to our... Is that Discord. why you want a pink title? Just to get back as this guy? You know, like you just want to get back at him? Come on, let's, let's, let's move along here. Now, virtual. <laughs> yeah. Or virtual bacon or virtual on... And everything like that. Oh, it's Andres so, Cosby, virtual light switch. <laughs> okay, l- l- virtual light, light switch, okay. So, um, we know that, um, we know how um, Julian got into the Tekken scene and everything and how, you know, me and her met. Yeah, yeah. And things like that. Even though that she remembers as well, <laughs> well much better than I ever could. Um, tell us about, you know, how how you came into the scene yeah sure and so, uh, i remember it was just what tekken 6 yeah so actually my history of the game goes uh way back further than that um so um i've always played fighting games probably like my favorite genre or genre <laughs> of games that i play um i like everyone else i started butter mashing um when i first played mm-hmm. um Back when Tekken 4 first came out on PS2. Oh, so um, you're never a Tekken 3 guy. Oh, no, I, I, I mean, I mash, like, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, and Tekken 4 when my cousin got it um, for his birthday, for, along with his PS2 and Tag, tag 1. Um, he used to always come over to my place to play, and, um, you know, we used to just mash and have fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then one day, I remember that he left his console and the games at my place, and I was like, ah, oh, screw it, I'm tired of mashing, I want to learn to play properly. So I sat down, um... I and picked, what game was this? Uh, Tekken 4. Tekken 4, okay. And I picked the That co- was a really bad yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a, a terrible game. Yeah, it wasn't that great. It's just like pretty much like everyone and then Jin. Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like the graph is so phallic in that game. Yeah, that... Oh, was that like laser scraper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I at the time I picked the coolest looking character, which to me was Yoshimitsu. And, you know, I just learned like moves and basic movement and stuff like that. Um... But I don't really take the game, I don't know, quote-unquote seriously until Tekken 5 came out. Mm. Um, so that's when I was trying out all these new characters. I tried a new character like Feng Wei, Raven, and Asuka. Feng Wei, did you yeah. just say Feng yeah, Wei? Feng Wei, yeah. <laughs> Feng Wei. Feng Wei, yeah. okay. Um, but yeah. So, so uh, with, with, um, with Rainbow, it's Feng Wei muscle. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, I don't really think of much at the time when Tekken 5 came out. Um, yeah. And I still play Yoshimitsu then. Um, it wasn't until... Um, oh, here we go. Back in high school, when I got invited to um, a birthday party um, to a guy called Josh Menz. I'm not too sure if anyone knows in the chat who he is, but yeah, so I went to his birthday party, and this guy loved Tekken. Um, you know, he just, just bought Tekken 5. Uh, we were all playing and stuff, and he had like Was a, this 5.0? Yeah, 5.0. The, the console oh, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and he had like a little tournament thing. So uh, I got invited to the party, I started playing, and. Um, you know, we were just picking random characters, just having fun. Um, it wasn't until I... This is... Yeah, this is how I start, main Asuka. I picked Asuka. And then, you know, I, just, I was just undefeated for, like, the rest of the day. Like, just beat everyone. And then everyone just started calling me, Oh, look, you know, it's, it's Asuka, man. Like, you know, it's Asuka Master and stuff. And I was like, yeah. that's a pretty cool name. So I just stuck with the character ever since. Um, yeah, so I just used Asuka. And then next year, I hit another birthday party. Same thing. Came over to play. Um, picked Asuka, wrecked everyone. <laughs> oh, don't lie. So, so what you've always sort of 
picked Oscar yeah. all this time. Oh, and... or, or, or because my friends in high school said this you one see, random thing. And... You see, that's the thing, though. Like, I actually, when I first saw you, <clears throat> I actually thought you were an Alyssa player. Really? Yeah. Everyone, everyone said that because it's a robot girl. <laughs> exactly. And the only reason you play Oscar is because it's man hands. No, it's not because of man hands. Man hands. But yeah, anyway, after Tekken 5, um, I started going to town a lot more after then. And that's when I saw people playing Tekken 5 DR, like towards the end of the scene. Right. Tekken 5, mm-hmm. Tekken 6. Just... So yeah, that's basically um, when a lot of the Tekken 6 people came into the scene. Yeah, yeah. It was because of Tekken 5 DR, yeah, and then and then you sort of transition into six, yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. So I came yeah. in at the, the tail end of it of Tekken Five DR the arcades. Um, so that's when I just saw like I remember seeing like all you guys, you know, your mates and stuff like playing like early Tekken Six and stuff. Or like D Sam and yeah, everyone. yeah. Like I yeah, remember okay. all those. Guys. Like, I was I was always like dude that always stood back Didn't and watched. Didn't you like, know Steven prior to going to the arcade? And nah, stuff? I, no, I met him. No, I met no. him like. What's funny though is that. Um, we knew each other from the arcade, but then sort of, we're kind of like, what, family friends? Yeah, in a Just weird sort of way. Yeah. In a way. <laughs> like, you know, my mum knew your mum. Yeah. Or and your you, auntie. And, and you knew my cousin as well. Exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's weird. And you, oh, you knew, like, everyone in my high school too. Like. <laughs> Wait, you went to Mags and you went to Linfield. Linfield yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, nah, but I knew quite a few people from Linfield, though. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, which was quite funny. Yeah. Funnily enough. <clears throat> but um, no, uh, I the first time I remembered seeing you guys was... Okay, um, my story of how I met you was... Um, you guys had a community. A small oh, little community. Yeah, in the, the um, IMAX crew. Yeah. In IMAX, yeah. And <laughs> this was back in Tekken 6, 6 yeah. BR. No, Tekken Vanilla. Oh, no, was, this was BR. This uh, was it BR. was like end of... Um, end of six yeah before BR sort of being into yeah BR. so when i first started playing tekken six like that was a big eye-opener for me i was you know like previously i used to always wreck my friends but once going to the arcades i was getting destroyed that, by everyone that's everyone yeah that's, that's everyone, funny yeah. though is that like um you know <clears throat> going back to the um going back to that small community i didn't know that this actually existed i didn't even know it was a thing <laughs> um until until data link mentioned it <laughs> oh yeah. funny enough um it all started because one day I wagged uni because my class was the AOT Tower right across the street from IMAX. So I ran over, um, I, I skipped class, um, and I noticed that the technician was working on the machine. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, um, like he walked away and these guys started putting money in to play. Like they put $2 at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And when they left the machine, I saw that this like credit left there. I'm like, what? I was like, what the hell? Like, oh, you're a freeloader now. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I noticed that, um, it's like, what the hell? Like they put credit in, they played and they just walked off and because both sides had a credit each yeah yeah so they put two dollars in each so so one left so i was like what the hell so i started playing and after that um i experimented i put two dollars in as well and it gave me two games wow. and, and then as soon as i found out it was a dollar per game then i instantly called dave i was like bro dave you gotta come down and play it's a dollar it's a dollar each so dave so dave this is dave uh, huang right yeah dave huang yeah okay um, i don't know he goes by many names he normally goes by des um or canon back in tag two days um doesn't really play much now um but yeah he the moment I caught, I caught him that day, and he ran down from AU like all the way through. Um, just for one credit. Yeah, just, just to play Tekken. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I guess we, we, were, we were crazy about the game back well, then. Well, I guess that you know back then when we were in uni days, you know, a dollar meant a lot. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he was the second member of this, you know, IMAX crew, and then not too long after that, we met Ben, and we told him about the dollar thing, and then he came along. Um, eventually, we had. Um, Jimmy. Right, it yeah. was two dollars at one point. Yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, but the technician screwed up, so it's a dollar per game. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so that's yeah. why. Yeah, we are. Oh, it was so bad. Right? I mean, we we missed so many uni classes, and we stayed in town so late just playing Tekken because the dollar per game. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <clears throat> and then yeah, eventually yeah, we had like our own little community there. Um, we had no idea there was a community at TZ or like people that play Yifa. <laughs> really? Come on, man. TZ. Oh, I mean, yeah. at, at, at first, yeah, and then. It wasn't too long afterwards when um, I think Jimmy or someone told uh, Data Link. I, yeah. I can't remember how Data Link found out about the dollar. Do you know how? Did you know him before he started hanging out with us a lot? No, I actually met Data Link through Steve. No, no. Data Link was. Data Link knew about you guys, then he told us. 
Uh, if you guys don't know who Daedalink is, this is Andres, the big, yeah. Andres. big islander guy. <laughs> yeah, the big that ex, Tongan. That ex-white. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember, yeah, he, I remember he used to play a lot of um, Jimmy um, from Livewire, or Vagabond now. Um, yeah, he used to play there a lot with um. No, but like our, our us knowing each other and then our friends, it seems to like really web in a lot because we all just kind of met separately. Because I met Ben through Steven. Cause no, Steve... you met Ben. Through, I introduced you to Ben no, and Mike no, at the same oh, time. Oh no, yeah, you introduced no, but me. Then, but then, but then we had out. lunch yeah, one time. I, yeah, we, we had lunch. Oh, me yeah. and her and yeah. um, Ben decided to tag along. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And then pretty much was like going to Jewel and was like, "Are you gonna eat that?" <laughs> 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 no oh yeah i still remember that but then i met ben through you i hung, used to hung out hang out with you a lot then because yeah. then what this turns into is me and virtual bacon we do have like our group of friends at the moment that play a lot of tekken so it's me virtual bacon um data link roy if everyone knows roy the best commentator um <laughs> shane or that guy pierre What's Pierre's? Um, Lee Long. Lee Long. Long. Yeah. Um, Mike. Uh, he's one of the winners. Oh, oh, yeah. and then my boy Amos Loose Moose. <laughs> I just, I just want to see that. But then there's us, and we always play together. Um, unfortunately, those guys don't play as much. Question mark. Loose Moose always works now, but yeah, I think I credit Tekken a lot because they've given me that group of friends. Who are like my family now because I live alone in New Zealand and I'm just really So where you're originally from again? I am from Hawaii. I've been in New Zealand for thirteen years now. So and I go back and forth a lot. Um and then my family's just moved back to Hawaii two years ago, so I've been just living on my own. But the past two years have just been filled with um virtual bacon and all the lad bros as we call them and just playing Tekken and going to T Z a lot and like Honestly, I would be so lonely without you guys. Oh, this sounds so oh, cheesy. Oh, you still got your group of friends though. Back I have my girlfriends, but these guys I see every day and I have dinners and lunch with every day. And I play Tekken and play all these other games with every day. And yeah, and you know. Well, you see, that's the thing. I have different kind of phases in, in like my life. So sometimes I'll be with the Tekken crew. Yeah. You know, well, I'll, I'll basically be hanging out with like, you know, Zazov and mm. NCA and BG, uh, Chikage, Rambo and, yeah. and the rest of them. Um, but then sometimes, you know, when Tekken starts dying down, you know, you start going back to your other crew <laughs> and things mm. like that. But then when it starts up again, you know, you're just back and forth all the time. I guess so, because as um, Zazov said... He wonders how I got good. I got good from like having a complete break. Cause, but how long was Tekken at the arcades out for before it came on console? Which one? No, the Tekken Seven. Tekken Seven. Well, there I, was never no BR. Cause I I played like the arcade Tekken for like maybe the first three months it was out. Then I didn't play. Like I played Overwatch, and then I took a huge break and I only started touching Tekken again. And then suddenly I started doing the online tournaments, and I showed people. That I actually been practicing, like offline. I think it's important to take breaks if you feel burnt out, and like take time to like love yourself. <laughs> yeah, Steven. Yeah, definitely. I think you should take a break and just like. I did clear... take a break. I took a break for like a, a week. No, that's not long no, enough. I break. took like almost a year break. Well, to I'm not back up. You. I'm back up to usurper now. So that's, that's actually good. a relief. Like yeah. I was on tilt. I was tilting hard when I went, um, you know, when I went down to, I think warrior mm. and I was like, okay, I'm going to like hurt someone or I'm going to punch a hole in this <laughs> war. If I go down to green ranks, Man, but yeah. luckily I drop. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a drop. It's a hell of a drop. So yeah, no, that was, that was <laughs> it pretty much. But no, um, I think that this uh, it's a good thing of what we guys are having at the moment mm. like you know with Tekken I think that it's and I'm gonna be honest though yeah. it's surpassed the Street Fighter community yeah. in numbers yeah. Yeah. you know we're growing like by the day <laughs> with, yeah. with everything there and that's the reason why um, you know we decide doing all these things mm. like podcasts and you know weekly tournaments yeah. and things like that you know yeah. so I find that our community is so family like and they're really nice group of people that's why i did my milky bats things as you'd say because i just like being around you guys and i just want to invite people over to like hang out and just play anything at yeah, my house yeah like it's 
always such a good time like just hang out with all these other Tekken players like, yeah it really is like <laughs> well you did say to me once before Tom that you did actually uh, you know at one point of your life um, you basically I mean I don't just just stop me if, if I'm getting too personal yeah no, but you, good. you did say that um, you know there was one point of your life that you sort of turned to Tekken for comfort really yeah like it's yeah, oh, yeah laugh <laughs> what you want but yeah like I I was never really good at like, any other kind of games. Like I sucked at first person shooter games, and I don't know, like I, I mean multiplayer games. Like you know, like I hated League because I was I was terrible at it. Um, <laughs> but like when it came to Tekken, like I felt like it was like the one thing that I was good at. Like you know, semi good at like fighting games. Like, you know, I love Soul Calibur. I love playing Virtual Fighter. Um, I'm oh, I mean below average at Street Fighter, but yeah, like. Fighting games just like the one thing that I was good at, so I just stuck with it, <laughs> and I just kept playing, and I never looked back. Hmm. I guess that, like you know, um, with the arcades as well, for me is that it's always going to be my second home. Yeah. Mm. Like, um, I can I can go to a net cafe and jam all the league I want, jam all the Hearthstone I want, but it still doesn't feel, mm. nah. you know, it doesn't feel like that's the community that I belong to. Yeah, nah. exactly. Where I belong is the Tekken community. Exactly. Like, and I've been there for 12 years now, and yeah. it's just, it's not going to change. Yeah, like, everyone's so social at the arcades, but, like, at a net cafe, like, everyone's just isolated to their own PC, like, you know, it's not that much chatter, not much bantering between each other and stuff like that. Yeah. But... Yeah. I, I'm the same. Well, I'm completely opposite from you, Tom, because I play a lot of other games competitively. Um, I've gone top 500 in Overwatch. I've made it to Diamond in League. Uh, I play a lot of games, and I always have to be the best. But, Do you want uh, to bring up your list for you? So yeah, you bring, bring up my <laughs> list of how many games I'm good at. But then Tekken will always be my home, and I always want to be... Yeah, I always wanted to be like good at Tekken, so that's why I took my break. And I came back and I was, I think I want to actually try and learn how to play Tekken well. So yeah. that's pretty much what happened. Like for me, I can't even, like taking a break is something that's incomprehensible for me. I just, I enjoy playing it too much. Like to this day, I still play like randomly like Virtual Fighter at home. You know, just by myself, whatever. <laughs> no, you just want to play Asuka. No, you she, just she's not play... in Virtual Fighter. <laughs> no, you just want to play Asuka. That's why you just can't stop playing Oh, Tekken. why do you think you bring her up like every single time? Because <laughs> everyone knows... I think knows... she's just jelly of Asuka. <laughs> I'm not jealous of Asuka. I'm just saying, she's got man hands. Fight me about it. I have theories. I have pie charts. Her hands are huge. <sighs> oh, don't forget the PowerPoint presentation, right? I have a PowerPoint. <laughs> 72 slides of a PowerPoint. Of, this... of why she has man hands. Why she has man hands. Well, come to think of it, I mean, um, she has man hands, but Nina has massive feet. <laughs> uh, funny enough, another character that I use. <laughs> Tom only plays girl characters, can't confirm. No, can, I can't confirm. Yoshimitsu cuts as a guy character. Oh my god, he's a squid. He's practically hentai. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. No, none of this tentacle stuff. Come on. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, I just wanted just to let you guys know that... Um, you know, Tekken is great. I mean, also, we've got a lot of big events coming up. And one of them is Southern Cross-Up. Um, also, like I said uh, at the very beginning of the podcast, and for all those people that just tuned in, um, we're doing a little competition here. Um, what, what we're doing there is um, we're going to be supporting, you know, someone um, at the Southern Cross-Up. You know, it could be it could be a pro Tekken player. It could be Zazob. It could be Cornwallis or something. It could be you know, it could be Julian. But um, <laughs> cough me, cough. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, hey! You know, I didn't say I didn't say that you can't. But you know, just gotta drop some examples. You know, um, so basically, in order to qualify for this, guys, <laughs> um, you just need to follow me on Twitter and uh, just drop me uh, yeah just just send me a tweet just send me a tweet as to why you think that you have what it takes to uh compete in southern cross up um you will be also branded as salt shaker podcast um in your name and everything and um i will be commentating zazob would probably be commentating blackout as well and we'll be mentioning the podcast here and there and i guess that uh dave organizer of standing fierce would probably also do this as well so um there's a lot of things that's happening there. Um, you know, we couldn't do this without you guys. Um, feel free to 
send us you know some donations from time to time like i said it could be ten dollars could be five dollars or it could be just a dollar just anything counts uh, i really want to get uh, more prizes out to you guys and everything like that there will be more prizes um you know for the next podcast as well with sevio and rambo so watch the space for that um and yeah like here's also a little thing that we did for southern cross up so i hope that you guys enjoy it Hey there, kia ora, ni hao ma, kanichiwa, and anyang haseyo. We would like to formally invite- You're taking too long. Come to Southern Cross Up! Woo! Head on down to Southern Cross Up, happening at the Crown Plaza from the 6th to the 8th of October. Meet the entire fighting game community. Meet our very own E-Black Cornova. Killer boys with some killer games. If you like fighting games, bring your mates. Everyone's invited. Hey man, you guys shut up, I'm trying to play. Yeah, just don't be that guy. Get ready for such titles as Street Fighter V, Super Smash Bros, Marvel vs Capcom Infinite, and last but not least, our Tekken very- Seven! Crazy girl! Kids, please ask your parents before attending. No Tekken players were harmed during the making of this production. No Tekken players' feelings were harmed during the making of this production. If you're ever inclined to do so- Tekken, 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 Tekken! What's up? This is Mia. Yo, this is Tinkos. This is Drax. Hi, this is Milky. Kia ora, this is Corn Willis, and you're listening to... And you're listening... And you're listening to the Salt Shaker Podcast. And you're listening to Chrono on the Salt Shaker Podcast. Jeez, okay, now we're back, guys. Uh, so what do you what do you think of um, the finished product of, uh, of all those um, sort of adverts and stuff? I don't yell that much. I'm not that passionate about <laughs> Tekken... And that was my that was my uh, anime voice. Uh, hit me up if you want an anime voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! No, no English dubs, please. <laughs> oh my god, please! Again, let's get back into this, guys. So, um, yeah, um, with this, I mean, to be very honest, though, let's let's just get let's focus more on the podcast mm-hmm. with all of this there. I seriously wouldn't have done any of this of these podcasting and things like that if it wasn't for Virtual Bacon. Yeah. And I wouldn't be doing this podcast if I didn't get all the support from Jewel Lin. Yay. So oh, well, Daily. And Daily. You know, Daily <laughs> Daily, you know, he, he I have him to thank for that because of all the voice um, you mm. know, overs and things like that. He is so good at it. Yeah. So he's gonna be on, like, you know, he's gonna be very, yeah, definitely gonna be on one of the next or upcoming podcasts. Yeah. And we'll be talking about, um, you know, his possible acting career and <laughs> things like that. So, um, yeah, just things like that. So no, I just, I just really want to thank you guys for making this all happen because, oh, that's all good. like, I mean, uh, there's a lot of doubts. At the very beginning, but you know, we all got Andres. through this. Yeah, Andres, yeah, Andres, hey, yeah. You, you've kept me busy. Like, thanks to you, I've been drawing daily now, which I've been. You've been drawing daily. <laughs> I'm mean, not. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, on a daily basis. <laughs> Unintended. Wow. Yeah. On a daily basis. I mean, is there yeah. something I need to know between you and daily? No, no, no. But What's up, daily. I, I, I love. Just like, I love you. Daily. Yeah, I love you daily. <laughs> no, but I love this podcast. I will. You've. The moment you, you're, you, you're a fan. I will always. You're a fan of the it, moment aren't you? you told, yeah, exactly. Oh wait, I forgot to sponsor. But the moment you told me about the podcast, I was in support of it. There's never anything wrong with doing another project, and doing it with your friends, and the cause. Like your, the reason behind it is to like really bring out our community and like really show off everyone in it because we have really cool people in it and it's just nice that we can all connect and make friends and just you know have a good time yeah. i've actually been told though like you know at your party remember when i came when i rocked up late <laughs> wait was it the 16 hour um yeah, the 16 hour party, the six, yeah. Shout yeah, out to 16, 16 hour <laughs> party damn that's unbelievable <laughs> and, yeah nah. and me and connor spent like most of it just playing soul Calibur five <laughs> Yeah, like with with that though, um, like I I remembered some of the dudes there telling me they're like going, yeah, Chrono, you know you know what you're doing right now, right? And I'm like, no. And they're like, you're you're pretty much New Zealand heiress. I was like, why? <laughs> it's like, well, because he said that he's a washed up Tekken player. It's like, oh, so you're calling me washed up now? <laughs> and it's just like, no, 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 no. But you know, you're 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 basically you know doing podcasting and things like that. You're saying that you know, um, I guess that. 
in a way, it's kind of true. You know, I've oh. kind of like, you know, I've kind of passed my prime in Tekken. You know, I can't really be at the top anymore. But instead, you know, what I'm doing is I'm sort of, I'm sort of, you know, getting the community out there, getting them well known, sort of, yeah, introducing the world to all these New Zealand players that yeah. have a lot of potential. <clears throat> And things like that. And I'm planning to actually, you know, do this, um, you know, probably twice a week. Yeah. And getting different people on and things like that. Uh, there'll be a lot of laughter. There'll be a lot of, you know, f- banter. Yeah. And things like that. And, um, you know, it's all okay. Mm. It's all okay. You know, maybe you guys even see it. It's like, hey, Steve, you should, like, soundproof this room. Yeah, exactly. I think it's <laughs> You cool. really should. <laughs> yeah, because I think it'll get loud. But I would love, like, once you've finish you know inter- uh, interviewing all of the players i'm that, gonna branch out yeah and then we can just like have cool group ones where we can talk trash and stuff like that and talk about random stuff well and just get drunk yeah just get drunk and talk about t- yo i'm keen for that yeah. <laughs> just get absolutely smashed and then just start like talking about random stuff yeah no i would love that i would love that oh it'll be good it'll be good i mean later on i'm gonna be getting uh, i think that one of the first um interviews that i'm going to be doing outside of tekken will be yeah you know, about street fighter people and um you know the best person to start with that would probably be dave yeah yeah so yeah. you know i'm gonna tell i'm gonna be asking him how he came up with um standing fierce and things like that you know just just all the little things yeah, yeah. definitely yeah uh, yeah, I would love for you to interview the Standing Fierce guys because they're so... They are so they're chill. Re- they're really cool. Yeah, I was getting drunk with them almost every day, <laughs> um, you know, at um, Red Zone Rumble. They are a cool bunch. I can't wait for Southern Cross Up. It's going to be so lit. I hope people took a day off on Monday so then we can party all on sa- Sunday night. Because, I mean, the also the nice thing with um, fighting games is you don't... I mean, you do get salty when you lose, but you truly don't get salty when you lose. Like, I think with fighting games, you learn from losing the most. Like, you lose, you come back, and then you just start to get better. And, like, the nice thing is after this tournament or after any tournament, I don't really get salty. I'm just like, okay, let's just hang out and have a have a drink after this. There's no real hate. There's no real, like... Rivalry, I don't know. Yeah, and you know they were all friends. And right? then so, they yeah. were all friends. Yeah, <clears throat> unless there's friends, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's just get on to some little questions. Like you okay. know, obviously this is the Q and A part. Oh, so um, <laughs> I I know what I am ready for. A well, no, no, no. That's is that's gonna be last. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So um, Tom. Yo. Um. You've been playing a lot of female characters. <laughs> oh, what? Yes. What's going to do with yes. the podcast? My gonna... boy. My boy. Chrono. Asking the real hard questions. Let's go. So, who, who, when are you going to start picking up some male characters? Well, thanks to Data Link recently, uh, I started playing Steve. So, ha! I do play a male character now. <laughs> do you play him on a tournament scale? Oh. Hell no. I can juggle with him. You <laughs> can it. juggle Does with that him. count? <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. no, that's that's fair enough. So you're picking up Steve. I picked up Steve, okay. and I, oh, I'm, I'm guess pretty... who I freaking picked up. Oh, don't say I... Claudio. Yeah, I did. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually um that that night when um Zazob came to interview me, um afterwards he was like, hey, you want to play some Tekken? He's like, hey, didn't you say you want to learn Claudio? I was like, yeah, sure. We're not friends it... anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> but um no um it it was just a lot of fun. You know, and, um, you know, me picking up Jack and yeah. things like that. Um, I sort of still learn Lars from time to time, but he's no fun anymore. <laughs> yeah. He's no fun. But, uh, Jill Lynn, who's going to be your next uh, character that you're going to pick up? Oh, my God. So, everyone knows, like... So, like, who have you got now? Who have you got now? you got Jack. You've yeah. got... Uh, I think Chloe. Cancer Chloe. I think Chloe's the top. I will say I'll always be confident with Chloe, Jack. Um, I tried Alyssa tonight. I play Lily. Now, I would say I want to go to Southern Cross-Up. I don't know if this is giving it away. I want to play only Lily at Southern Cross-Up. That's why I'm hailing um, Prince Sweater for, like, until then. <laughs> because I, uh, as I said, when I started playing Tekken, like, actually, seriously, where I wanted to learn was when I picked up Lily in Tekken 5. So I wanted to kind of go back and play Lily. Lily's great. Um, as 
a lot of people said Koreans, Japanese. I actually race. want to learn her again. Yeah, yeah. She they, was fun. They rate, sex. yeah, no, she's fun. They rate her really high for tournament here. And I'm just like, I'm tired of playing Chloe. I, that's about it. I just, Lily's great. Lily's fun. I hate Chloe. I just wish that, like, they deleted her. I wish. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. That's how I feel about I a lot want, of characters in I'm going to say it now. I wish June was back. I will always be loyal to June. June is your OG. Oh, June is I. June is when I was my prime. My prime is with June. Why not Oscar? <laughs> Oscar would never be the same as June. June is graceful. She's elegant. She's powerful. She has beautiful stances. I can't praise June enough. I knew she wasn't gonna make it past second tag two. Yet I still went through the heartbreak. Is she still alive in the lore though? No, uh, technically no, she she's, is. Well, technically, I'm pretty sure Ogre her... ate her. No, Ogre didn't eat her. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> so, um, no, so four of us, uh, so, you know, whoever's actually out there listening at the moment, if you guys want to ask questions to uh, Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb here, <laughs> um, feel what? free just to just to mention that in the chat. Because so, on D. <laughs> <laughs> so so wow. who's, who, who's Tweedle D and who's Tweedle I'm Dumb Tweedle here? D. I'm D. Actually, I'm Princess. Oh, and you're the stable boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, is this a friends like? Uh, is... I am. Almost, I'm like the Lily, and you're the Oscar. Where oh. like Lily is graceful and elegant. She buys Oscar's dojo. She buys her whole life, pretty much. Like Oscar's was bankrupt. She almost closed her dojo, and then Lily was like, "Here's my bank card, Dad. Let us buy Oscar's life. She's my slave now." That is pretty much us. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, okay, so Zazo basically <laughs> asked uh, Julian, he's like, uh, how much is your anime voice acting per hour? Um, how much do you charge? Actually, it's like one cake for per session. That's right, you love cake. I love cake. If you I had a cake. cake. I had a chocolate cake here. I ate it. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I should have just. I. I forgot. I forgot. Um. I was just like, okay, well, cool. I'm just gonna eat this cake. But then now you just mentioned. I was like, damn it. I should have just ate it in front of you while yes. I'm doing this <laughs> podcast. Slowly. How dare you say that? Um, my favorite type of cake is you vanilla. You owe me cake anyway. I owe you cake. That's that's our meme. Um, my favorite cake's vanilla. But I have, I have no discrimination against any type of cake. Um, I remember when you when you made me buy my birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember. that's right. That's right. That was so funny. Wait, oh, this one's for you, Tom. It's how are you so OP at low parries? That's yes, that's one. right. That's so, one. um, for those that don't know, um, this gentleman <laughs> here, he is uh, the king of low parry. Like no. anything, like, I'm actually scared of doing any low moves <sighs> on you because you're low parry. No, <laughs> I'm not that good at low parry. Well. Back then, um, as I mentioned, I used to play with Dave a lot, and I remember when we when we first kind of TZ, we saw uh, Jambo play, and he used to low parry everything. We're like, AKA what? me. <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah. calls me yeah. Jambo. So, and they're like, "Whoa, how's this guy low parry? We'll never be able to do that." So, and look at me now. Like, I don't know. I just, I guess when I play online a lot, people. Well, now, all the now lows. that you low parry so much, you know your yeah. your, your downfall <laughs> yeah, kind of doesn't my, work properly. Yeah, <laughs> my, my downfall's kind of busted now, and I like doesn't matter what the low is. I I always low parry like Snake. It just screw it. I low parry it. <laughs> Link size save three. I'll low parry it. <laughs> Jack's debugger, fuck low parry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you need to work on that because <clears throat> big lows you can't get caught. Especially off. when it's like a rage drive, like Ling's rage drive or Jack's rage drive. You can low parry yeah, um, Ling's but rage I, drive. I find it with the blue spark. Yeah. It's so much easier to low parry. Like a blue spark. Yeah, like you know the rage drive spark, mm. yeah. It, it gives it away. So so that means that you is isn't Devil Jin's one a low as well? Uh I have no idea. I don't fight Someone anymore. confirmed that. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it was. I never seen one use the Bushins one actually. I've never seen. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, like, um, I you know I've a lot of Jula and she well, she's like the, the debugger queen. So you know that kind of trained me. Roy, Roy as well. He's the hell sweeps for Bob. Yeah. He also is a dirty button listener. But, uh, Roy, yeah. yeah. Shout out to dirty button listeners. Yeah. Tell us more about that. Oh, Roy, yeah. So, um, <laughs> how, what? How did? How did you guys figure it out? Oh, he, he wasn't keeping it a secret. Like we were playing it casuals at his place. That you know, um, towards the end of the round, um, Roy will always race drive, and then when he hit us, he'd be like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I heard your buttons. I, I heard you mashing." So, <clears throat> well, this is the reason why I'm holding a stick at the moment. So, this is why we decided to get silences, silences. right? <laughs> I mean, there's still, there's still actually, you know, 
they're still sound. Yeah. yeah. But it's not the <clears throat> it's not the crack. But some people actually like um I I've got a friend who plays who I play with um you know in Tekken quite a lot. You know um you know Benjamin? Uh Ben? Plays yes. Paul? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um I went over um I think last Friday because you know um uh, they're so busy. Him and him and Lana, his his partner. Yeah. They're so busy that they can't play Tekken that much anymore, and um, they finally just said, "Hey, Steve, you know, come over and play some Tekken." It's like, it's like "Are you sure?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll put I uh, will put our son, like Alex, our son, um, you know, asleep. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we'll put him to sleep uh, a lot earlier, and then yeah, just come around, have some games, have a few beers and stuff, and then I went over with the Panthera. Yeah. And then yeah, he said he didn't like it. <laughs> he said he hated the buttons. Like he said, um, every time when I do a when I do a um, death fist, yeah, like you need to hear that crack. Yeah, it's the same thing when um Dado mentioned when he electric. Like he, I guess he's got used to hearing like the little sound when the button press. I don't know, but yeah, he, he like it does take a little while to get used to like that. That I will admit. <clears throat> well, it, you know, you guys are already at, you know quite used to it, isn't it? Yeah, I like guess. Andres is like pretty much he hated those silent buttons, but then. He, he that didn't stop him from getting it he, yeah. he's weird because he hated my razor panthera and then he just would come to my house and just take it remember when he wanted to come in the middle of the yeah, night he, when I was asleep he, he, he told me to go in the middle of the night to go get it like, yeah to go, oh, to, it was to go over to his place to play yeah. though, so just to take my stick oh my god <clears throat> jeez yeah. so um, there's also a few other things there like um, let, let's just say What's your favorite Tekken of all time? Favorite Tekken? Mm. Um, for me, mm. yeah, probably. I I really enjoy playing Tekken Five, but um, if it's at the arcades, though, definitely be Tekken Six BR. That's I thought I had the most yeah. fun playing Tekken Six BR at the arcades. I I loved playing Tekken Six. Yeah. I played like I remember it was New Year's Eve on New Year's, and I played instead of going out and like seeing fireworks i just played the whole tekken story mode but this is really controversial but i want to just say i love tekken tag 2 only for june that's why it's my favorite <laughs> and i hated the, everything else i could have just played like by myself in ghost battles but i only loved it for june yeah for that's me it. like i used to stay in town like really late at night you probably remember us like back in tz when he used to hang out with you a lot like he used to stay in you town used to always it. ask me to take you home no, I, no. because you're like I miss my bus <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. Take me home. yeah um yeah but like I'm, and remember Lee I used to stay in town playing Lee, uh, Lee. Fans. yeah with Lee a lot Mr. Yeah. Rich guy yeah, Mr. Rich guy yeah Mr. Rich boy um, but if it's like just console like probably Tekken 7 yeah I really Tekken like Tekken, Tekken 7 yeah um. yeah I probably would think the same as well with um Tekken 7 um yeah, like it's a really good game, and I appreciate Tekken Seven mm. because it's brought back a <clears throat> lot of players. Yeah, would you say that you guys also like it because it's the best state your characters have been for Asuka and Link? I don't know. For me, like, I am a pretty big character loyalist, so Asuka could be the worst character in the game, and I'll still yeah. play her. Like, but it doesn't hurt that I mean she's really good. Like her rage drive is like arguably the best rage drive. It's it's just it's a clone of Dragonoff. Yeah, but it's still like really good, especially <clears throat> the way he uses it. Or well, then again, he knows her what inside out. What is it? Out. So what? Um, in a juggle, you basically do rage drive, and then it sort of jails them. No, and then so you, if, if she and then hit... you get a you get a kick out of it. No, right? so, so yeah. if, if she hits them in an air state, then um they like kind of hold their back and like a little stun thingy, and um you get a free forward forward one, which does massive damage. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you hit them while they're grounded or something, then they kind of just like roll on the ground. Right. Then you get like right. a free like down four three or a jumping neutral down three, mm-hmm. and that does a decent chunk of damage as well. Mm. But it's a good way to end combos. Yeah. Um, if you start a combo with it though, um, <laughs> it does a crap ton of damage. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty cool rage drive. I I love her new soccer kick. I can't stop spamming. Isn't it. Isn't that a new move? Yeah. 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 It's um, you know, like. Well, I also I fell in love with Xiao Yu's back turn through uh, down three four. Yeah. That is such a good move. Like, they gave her that, like you know, just just out of the blue. You know, she never had that in vanilla. Yeah. But then now it's just like all of a sudden it's like oh yeah she's got this she's got this move. Yeah. And it's like <clears throat> holy crap! It like you know it it pretty much picks up in anything. Yeah. She's gotten so good in Tekken Seven. She's really really, she's really, really cheap though. Yeah. Like, but but the thing is that you know you you need to work for that damage. Yeah. Yeah. Like back in I think that back in Tekken Tag 
two. That was the worst time for yeah. Xiaoyu. Like, you had to work so much for her damage. And um, so, you know, you'll be doing ten hits, but then someone would do two hits on you, which would be Equate. the exact yeah. same damage yeah. that, of what she uh, puts out. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I didn't enjoy that. Yeah. But um, tell us, um, what was your most memorable moment in Tekken? Oh, you can go Starting first. with Julian. My most memorable moment. I don't know. Tonight, getting my pink title is pretty good. Um, I don't. I can't think of. I th- I would be like cheesy stuff like meeting you for the first time, or that time at Armageddon where I just destroyed all these people. Oh no! This is my most memorable moment because it's a really cheesy good moment. So there was one time I was... One of those feel-good, warm, fuzzy moments. I I don't know. You might be triggered. So I was at the arcade one day. And this was back when people didn't really know me. And I was just starting out. So guys would always come and fight me. Because they assumed that I'm like bad or something. So I would bully people. No lie. And um, then comes this tall guy. And he sits down and he's like... I see that you've been bullying people. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then he comes and he like pretty much bodies me that guy turns out to be andres and then he, since then he's been like my oni chan and, <laughs> and he's we went out to i still remember we went out to eat japanese food and then we found out that we're actually related so that's how he's always gonna be my big brother now yeah daikoku is his favorite yeah, restaurant daikoku, he lo- we <laughs> he always we always eat a daikoku if you guys see him just take him I out i thought to he likes korean food yeah, that too, that too. Yeah, he yeah, loves Korean He loves food. Korean yeah, food. He loves... Oh, and he so, loves onions as well. <laughs> he loves onions, he loves Korean food. What else does he like? He likes go-go music cafe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, meeting Andres has always been like a highlight for me because he takes care of me and he's like helped me get better at Tekken. And he doesn't take care of you mobi- uh, of your mobility though. No. Because he can't drive. <laughs> no, no, he can't drive. <laughs> but yeah, he's like the most cynical person I know, as you know. And... Uh, I-, I think I know firsthand. I mean, um, speaking of Andres, like you know, he he's he's a good friend of mine. Like I could tell you this much. Like, but the thing is that. He is such a downer (laughs) all the time. Like, he always shits on you. Like, you know, whenever you... Like, whenever there is an opportunity to. But the thing is that, like... um, I think that, like, you know... He is pretty much, like, um, one of the... One of my childhood friends. Yeah. You know, I I knew that guy since... I knew that guy since five years old. Uh, Yeah. I'm just gonna say, he taught you how to run. Am I right? (laughs) Well... Want to know that Krono only learned how to run because of Andres. Because of Andres, I'll, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. But like the thing is that I don't really remember too well. Or, you know, with being five years old. Yeah. But like, dude, like, just get over it. Like, because you know, if, if I if I want to run like Naruto, I'll run like Naruto. I'm five years old. I'm gonna run like Naruto, and there's nothing you can do about it. Man, but, speaking of Andres, though, I remember when this. Sort of like when I first met him, like I bumped into our youth fans, and this is when we weren't really that good of friends. Like we, we just like probably like acquaintances and stuff. And he was playing Elisa, and I remember I was watching. He was oh hey what's up man? And, you know like we greeted each cheap. other. Yeah, uh, I remember like he, he someone called him, so he had to take a phone call, and it was like oh you play Elisa, can you just play for me while I answer this phone call? I'm like oh okay sure, and like he, he sits away and he starts talking. I remember playing. I was like, "Oh crap, man! I can't lose this, this big guy's money. Like, he's gonna beat me up afterwards." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, I freaked the crap out. Like, I was like, try not to lose this other guy oh, that he was man. playing. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of speaking of freaking out, um, Andres like and me used to hang out a lot. This yeah. is back in BR days. Yeah. And um, funnily enough, like he was the one that got me into K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me that got him into K-pop. It was the other way around. Um, but um, we used to just sort of hang out quite a lot. And um, there was this girl that also used to play Tekken. And she had a brother who was really, really cocky. And um, because they're, they're Sri Lankan. Yeah. And, um, you know, they don't really say too much. But um, 
pretty much I took Andres over to their place. <laughs> and then... Um, and oh, then, I know who this was. Yeah, yeah and, and then pretty much, like, um, the mum saw him. Like, yeah. some, some big Islander guy with, like, a massive afro. And then she got kind of scared. It's like, it's like, are you are you bringing this Islander guy here just to rob us? <laughs> or, or something? <laughs> And Roy's mum had the same reaction to <laughs> Andres and Shane as well. Yeah. Andres oh, and wow. Shane. I did actually say that um, there's a one time when um, you weren't too much into the scene, Julian, but yeah. uh, I had a few um, sort of get-togethers at mine. Yeah. And uh, him and Shane used to would, uh, would always come oh, over. Yeah, I've heard and I'm these. like, you know what? I'm going to make an exception. There's going to be two Islanders <laughs> like um, that, that, that's allowed in here at a time. There's a limit of Two islanders at my house. That's all it is. Wow. Two islanders. Two islanders, and it's always gonna swap it to be. Wait, but there's daily now. Oh, wait. Now daily's kind of white. <laughs> daily is. Have well, you heard his name? I... Daily, like what? I don't, I don't know. Let's yeah. let's not get into that. <laughs> well, he will cover this. He'll cover this. But um, nah, Andres is pretty white himself. Anyway. No, Andres is white. He is white. There's there's no way around it. Andres is white. To He's me. so posh. He's so <laughs> posh. He is posh. He can be. I love this Andres roast session, but no, it is because oh, roast him all you want. I don't care. No, well he he has. <laughs> you should me. get him on this podcast. I want to. No, I would. No, I would he'll pay. roast me. That's yeah. like, <laughs> you just you guys talking would be awesome though. Like, yeah. but you... it'll be talking about like primary school days and stuff yeah. <laughs> most of the time. It's but not going to be about Tekken. But that's the thing that pisses me off. He is such a good Tekken player. But he just, as I say, he's that guy from Naruto who's really smart, but really lazy, so he never really reaches his yeah, full potential. Like Shikimaru? Is that his name? Yeah, whatever yeah. that Didn't, guy. Doesn't he always <clears throat> just say, I'm casual? Exactly. Yeah. I'm casual. <clears throat> well, Andres would, like, turn to me randomly and just give me some advice, and mm. I'm just like, wow, now I'm good. So I credit him for my greatness, in a sense. Yeah, that guy has also helped me, like get better at the game as well like. yeah he's better in the <laughs> well game he's now. not he's not stupid yeah. he's got a he's got a good head on his shoulders yeah but yeah no um so yeah no uh i think that um we should be going to the next break yes. um so basically just wanted to talk to you about southern cross up there guys uh southern cross up is coming up uh it's gonna be a big massive event uh, how many people have entered for Tekken 7? About or? 80. About 80 people. Willing so people 80 people. More, more than their LPL tournaments. So. More than an LPL tournament? Wow. Okay. Nah, so um, if you guys aren't doing anything, um, you know, come come watch. You know, if you, got, you guys don't have to enter, you know, there's going to be heaps of casual stands. I think it's like $10 to play uh, or something like that. It's something cross up. Yeah. yeah. Casuals, $10. Cas- casuals, $10. Yeah, casuals, yeah. So so if you're not doing anything, man, just just... Bring your friends that uh, that think that uh, you know they're all that, you know. Maybe challenge the E Black Abuji, and uh, yeah, no, nah, have heaps of fun. It's going to be a really, really fun weekend. So we also made an advert for this. So I'm going to let you guys listen to it. Hey there, kia ora, ni hao ma, kanichiwa, and anyang haseyo. We would like to formally invite. You're taking too long. Come to Southern Cross Up. Woo! Head on down to Southern Cross Up, happening at the Crown Plaza from the 6th to the 8th of October. Meet the entire fighting game community. Meet our very own E-Black Cornova. Killer boys with some killer games. If you like fighting games, bring your mates. Everyone's invited. Hey man, you guys shut up. I'm trying to play. Yeah, just don't be that guy. Get ready for such titles as Street Fighter V, Super Smash Brothers, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and last but not least, our very seven! crazy girl. Kids, please ask your parents before attending. No taking players were harmed during the making of this production. No taking players' feelings were harmed during the making of this production. If you're ever inclined to do so. What's up? This is Mia. Yo, this is Tinkos. This is Drax. Hi, this is Milky. Kia ora, this is Corn Willis, and you're listening to... And you're listening... And you're listening to the Salt Shaker Podcast. And you're listening to Chrono on the Salt Shaker Podcast. I'm actually really, really proud of those uh, little segments (laughs) that they're doing. Like, there was actually a few of them that actually sent them over, Mm. and um, putting them together was so much fun. Yeah, they sound really good. Oh, I can't wait till more people record. Uh, I, you know, Southern Cross Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I will. Um, so basically, for Southern Cross Up, I'm gonna basically be walking around. I'm gonna try and get some of those 
salt shaker yeah. stickers yeah. out. And yeah, yeah do just a, do a vlog type of thing. Vlog yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. But, I sign um, up to Connor's Digimon tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> aren't you aren't you signing up for that? No, I haven't signed up. Oh <laughs> uh, well come on, you need to do it as well. I'll sign up, I'll sign up. Isn't it I like Super it. Smash Brothers? Uh no. Well, it kinda is. Kind of is. Kinda is. But if there's a Soul Calibur tournament, I'll sign up for that. <laughs> oh my god. It would the finals would literally be you and Connor. That's it. <laughs> but uh, uh. I really like those those adverts. They're really good. Well, yeah, hopefully, I, I... Okay, so the next... If you guys didn't know this already, then yeah. uh, on Friday, I'll be having another podcast. And I think that this is going to yeah. be the golden one. I l- This is going to be... Um, like, this is going to be the three stooges so <laughs> i'll be i'll be one of them obviously oh but i'm gonna play along um okay. it's gonna be with rambo and civil just like those the whole... two are like the best like pairing when it so comes to well. talking but like the, the the preparation it's taken to get them together has also been entertaining um i'm excited because i i like rambo i only met rambo just at the lpl but he's like kind of a um, he's a he's a he's a living li- legend. He's like. a living legend. So I was like, once he's w- one hell of a character. He is so cool. Like he approached me and he's like, "Oh, are you Rose Milk Tea?" Which is one of my accounts, and I'm like, "Yeah, I am." And he's like, "You're so good. I really enjoy playing against you." Blah blah blah. I really liked you, and I'm like, "Who the hell is this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, "What the hell? What is this?" And then I watched him. I was like, "Oh my god, this guy's like really good." And then he even made it to the grand finals at Sky City. And then Sivio, on the other hand, is also really good. And he's there was like a point where Sivio won like all the TZ or ti- timeout tournaments. And just they're really good, but at the same time, they won't admit it. They will just praise the other one. It's just like, I don't know, in other <laughs> other communities, other countries, you trash talk each other. Not but, on these but, two. But nah, on nah, these. I, think, I think it's more or less a reverse trash talking. Yeah, it's weird. So it's just like, oh, you're really good. But then it's just like, it's like nah, you're absolutely <laughs> shit. You know? No, but you're really good. You know, I reckon that that, the, the, that podcast is just going to be about just you're really <laughs> good or you're the best and, you're, the... I, and you're nothing compared to me <laughs> and stuff like that. That's all it is. Yeah. It's the whole thing. Oh, I can't actually do that sound really fast. Like too, too good. Wait, yeah. too good. That was all right. I can't do it. <laughs> you don't really want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but but um, um, Cornova does it really well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can tell you this much. He does it really, really well. So yeah, nah. Our uh, song cross up. That would be really, really good. Oh, I'm actually thinking about doing some salt shakers. Just going to the two dollar shop yeah. and just buying those salt shakers. And make little like and, um, labels. Yeah, little labels yeah. for it, and just be like, "Yep, here you go. Here's a salt shaker. Here's a salt shaker. Yep, cool. Everyone gets a salt I shaker." I it. I am lacking a salt shaker. I mainly just use Pierre. Shout out to Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> this salt shaker. Yeah, so, I, I gotta do the image justice for the next podcast the sweater and mr muscles i'm excited i want ramble to Bing have muscles. muscles yeah yeah and then i want i want severe i'm gonna sweater. egg him on about that eh <laughs> like um yeah we'll we'll we'll, t- we'll tell you guys about the origins of the fingway muscles and things like that at the next podcast so definitely um be sure to tune into that but uh no tonight is about uh tom and julian so, uh, I think this is the moment of truth. I, so, I already know the answer to this. So, what? So, what What? what, what did you call it before? Man. Your, your husband or... No, I think I deserve a waifu. We can have both. You can I have think both. I have both. I, I've always had both. But waifu for me, easily June. Easily. I mean, I'm in love with June. I miss her so much. For, okay, the husband though, that one's hard. That one's what? really What? There's hard. more guys than there is girls that in the roster. No, but there's too many guys. Does it have to be a taken character though? Because like, oh, if we're counting MVC3, right? If we're counting MVC... Probably Dante, right? Dante. Oh, no. Uh, no, she, she, she likes Virgil as well. No, no, no. Dante. <laughs> Dante. You probably, you probably like, you know, you probably look up Dante and Virgil Yaoi <laughs> in, out of most things, I knowing love, you. I love Dante. Dante, I, you like Dante? <laughs> Did you just say Dante? Yeah. So for those that don't know, Dante is like the <laughs> rebooted Dante. Really, you like Dante? I love. I just you I love, love Dante. I love okay. Dante. No, if it had to be Tekken, it's really hard because there's so many hot guys in Tekken. Am I right? Am I wrong? 
I'm not commenting on that. I don't look at there their bod. There are so many hot guys I mean, in Tekken. I mean, what's his name? I mean, Rambo looks at their bod, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so there's a science behind him. See, Lars would be hot. Okay, Lars would be hot. Oh, here we go. If, so, if he didn't have that hair. That's all the, I'm going to say. The bed hair. The, the weird, like, porcupine hair. Yeah, the bed hair. It's like you woke up in the morning and yeah. then you just couldn't be bothered combing it yeah so he would be the hottest if he didn't have that hair he's got the scar he's got like the family daddy issues it it's it's perfect um steve is hot who can ever deny steve his hotness okay that slick back golden hair the abs he's sometimes shirtless he's a little cockiness when he rage arts and then he just throws you behind and he's fists in the air it's beautiful um <laughs> <laughs> um who else is there? Um, hmm. You can only have one. Come on. I, I know. I'm. De- I haven't made my final one. And the one who wins it for me is Claudio. Oh, I'm the Jin. Oh, you just. Jin is hot, but I have a thing for his mother. That's just weird. Uh. But Claudio, the name, he, he, the language. He what, looks like Italian. a Italian. Fire... Yeah, I love Italian. Well, eat me a potato. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I... that's what he says when he does the rager. Eat me a potato. I. <laughs> You know it's funny because what's that Oscar move that she does? Oh, where's um? You know which one? Cork, cork, uh, oh, uh, down for no up for two. Up for two. I swear she's saying croquette, like the potato croquette. Yeah, she's like croquette. I know she's not <laughs> no. saying it, but it. I Harada. He loves. I still potatoes. reckon that you know that Claudio says eat me a potato. No, Claudio's the hottest. I will believe that. He's really think. campy, though. You know his his. Uh, he is the most anime character. Can you what? see his like? You know, I was I was um. I was doing some customization on Claudio because yeah. you know I'm gonna play him in ranked and stuff like that. But have you seen his hands? Yeah, just like they're so limp, limp over. over yeah. You know, it's just like it's like Mr. Burns. You know, <laughs> <laughs> how dare you, Mr. Burns? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burns. I, I want to take back my husband. Don't know. <laughs> well, because we just roasted him. <laughs> I know. We just chucked him in the oven and just let him like roast. I, yeah, I was like, why would you? <laughs> he does it like this. Yeah, he's like <laughs> Mr. Burns' hands. Oh yeah. Oh my god. No, he probably has a lisp as well. No, he does. He's beautiful. He's a Final Fantasy character. He's got the abs. I. I okay, now nah, it's already locked in for you, <laughs> Tom. Oh, you it's probably Oscar. No, I don't want it. What with the man hands? Wait. Nah, it's just the character I just used the longest. Say, one. say, say. I want to hear her name so I know yeah, it's yeah. real. Okay, okay. Who is your waifu? Uh, Oscar. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're not no, we're not done with that subject. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll leave you to do it. What 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 is it? I I don't Tom likes Sunday days, okay? I, no She fits your complete size. She's not Sunday, is she? Not really. She's not really, but she has like wait, isn't there like hmm, short boyish hair, man hands? Like a bad attitude, but like also a cheerful attitude. Rides a fucking bike everywhere. Drops her bento boxes. You know, I the list goes on why I don't like this hussy. Oh, yeah, I call her hussy. <laughs> like I, I don't know. And then the thing come is, come on, man, no hate here, no hate. No, there is, there is no, hate. No, I hate no, her. Come on, man, none of that. No. Oh, and then there's Alyssa. He, he. I can't believe you didn't talk about Alyssa. Tom loves robots and he loves girls. Oh, she's a robot girl. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Who takes her head off? She takes her head off. She gives it to you. So you like a girl to give you head? No, <laughs> that no. That is basically what I'm saying. I- I'm just saying, Tom. These characters were made for you. You know, Tom and Tekken Tag Two only played like Alyssa and Oscar together. Oh, she's not wrong, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Tag Two, I only played Oscar and Alyssa. Yeah. Okay, so why Oscar? Ah, oh, it's just a character that I've just. The longest. Don't don't say that. It's true though. Like, yeah, he's she... got a body pillow. Well, that's I don't have a. You bo- have a body pillow? <laughs> I don't. You believe everything she says? No, no. I can't confirm. I Oscar, do not have a body. Oscar I don't have a body. You know, pillow. he actually Tom turned to. Is me it one of those ones? Those one of those ducky I that, don't have that, a body. Like, pillow. So so one has like Oscar just like in full clothes, <laughs> but then you have... turn it over and then. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. You know, Tom turned to me the other day. I don't have and one. He turned to me and he's like. Do you want to cosplay Oscar for Armageddon? I was like, that's too far. <laughs> that's too far. I okay. don't have a body puller for the record. Yeah, well, NCA is trying to call you out. It's like, we need to see this body puller. I don't have a body puller. <laughs> I will bring it. Come to Milky Bats. I'll have the body puller there. 
But yeah, it's just the character that I've used the longest. Don't see me. That's like... true though. It's just... Well, it's just like people saying that, like that, that Xiao Yu is my waifu. But yeah, I, as you explain, I totally believe she is your Pikachu. It makes sense. She's your Pikachu. You, she can, he can use her without having romantic feelings. That's why I respect Steven as a player. You, I, on the other hand, have to love her. What was the thing I love her? You I, love Oscar. I just enjoy using the character. You are in she's, love. She's with carried her. the victory so many times. See, <laughs> see, she's put you in her man hand arms, and she's so what? She, she's she's fine and carried you <laughs> like, to victory. Is that, is that is that what it is? Oh, I guess those hands coming handy. <laughs> no, I, but yeah, no, no. Xiao Yu is is just. Um, I mean, her kit is absolutely like amazing. Yeah, and it, she is just different. Like she's like Lee Sin. In in um mm. in, in League of Legends, like her kit is, I mean, if it's you unique. know for damage, it's it's all over for her. But like I reckon in Tekken Seven, she's a little bit too OP, but maybe with a little bit of Ooh. nerf, it might be okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think that it's fine. Yeah, but I think I also made a really big screw up with like you know the last um with the last interview mm. there saying that you know what is it Karen? Did I say Karen? Yeah, I panicked. Why? I panicked. So who is your real waifu? Okay, I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest. Um, it's it was Shall You, um, like probably when when Tekken Five was around. Okay, she was pretty then. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I think that it's in it's Athena. Which game? And King of Fighters. King, King of, of Fighters. Yeah, the, the girl with the purple. Oh yeah, yeah. Girl. Yeah, I think that she is the OG waifu. I think I can respect that. I like her. I have this picture of me. Ah, she's kind of cool. Yeah, she's cool. She's changed. Yeah. Okay, she is the only girl, like, or the only character in King of Fighters that changes outfits every King of Fighters. She's like the Yoshimitsu. Yeah. 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 No, I can respect that. I but can... yeah, like, yeah. it's Athena. Yeah, it's, I think it's... that suits you much more than Karen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Athena. Yeah, so mm. I do apologize to Simp because, you know, I know that that's his waifu, but, um, Nah, it's it's Athena Asamiya. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So yeah, I, I stand corrected with that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. yeah, like I don't know, like for me, like execution had a lot to do with me picking my character. So yeah, like Oscar's you know, like the, the easiest execution ever, so yeah, it's part of the reason why I stuck over it. and I'm not gonna lie, like the character did grow me after playing her for what? When Tekken Five come out, did your other body parts grow? With you? <laughs> <laughs> when I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, wait, what? Like what? But I would just say, for someone, as you said, you want to say Oscar's easy execution. You know her so well. You know <clears throat> her so inside out that it amazes people what you can do with her, and that's inspiration. I'm not complimenting her. I'm complimenting the fact that Let's you can Let's put the hate her. all aside. I can when well, I hate her, I hate her. If you get bodied enough at the arcades, eventually you'll be like, fuck it, I gotta learn everything about my character so I no, don't get No, but you bodied. you really take it deep, deep down. deep. He tried to teach me Oscar. It didn't go well. It yeah, didn't go well. I wonder well. why. I can, <laughs> I can tell you this much. Um, it will. It's a lot easier to teach someone Oscar than it, do, than it is going to be to teach someone Xiaoyu. Of yeah, course. Yeah, because Xiaoyu, you, yeah. you have to know, like... I can't s- teach anyone... My wife is like pretty much like, you know, asking me, she's like, teach me how to play Shao Yu, teach oh. me some Shao Yu Convers. Like, oh no, I don't want to. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, I think Ling's obviously. There, there's, the there's too much, like. There's too much to know. Other knowledge besides just Ling Xiao Yu. Like, you gotta know, like, everything else about Tekken to be good at Ling Xiao Yu. Well, like. Yiggs is definitely right in one of my past <clears throat> podcasts when he was actually, uh, when he was in the chat there. Mm. Um, with Shao Yu, you're gonna, if you're gonna pick her up, you're gonna suck for two years, two to three years. Yeah, yeah. always. <clears throat> and then eventually you'll you start understanding, you know, how she <clears throat> works, and and everything. But um, I took a break for yeah. like about a week or a week and a half or something like that. Um, you know, from Tekken is because I've just been like I've just been fatigued with mm. with playing Tekken. Yeah. With <clears throat> LPL, with Red Zone Rumble, yeah. With all the weekly tournaments and things like that, mm. like. She, you can't exactly just like, you know, pick her and then go. Exactly. It, it basically, you know, uh, and then also if you play her too much, you're going to end up sort of getting confused with what you're, you're going to be doing. Yes. Yeah. You know, she's got like so many moves in Out of Phoenix. She's got so many moves in Back Turn. She's got so many moves like, you know, in Hypnotist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And things like, even though Hypnotist <clears throat> sucks, but you know. Yeah. 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 
Actually, yeah, no one ever uses that stance. No. I think it's the prettiest one. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like... Yeah, like, picking Ling Xiaoyu, yeah, you would suck. I to the first couple years we played. But when I play fighting games and I pick a character, like, I don't pick on, like, if they're good or not, or their moves are well. I just pick because mm. I like the character or not, and then I just force myself to get good at them. Like, that's yeah, probably that's... why I spend all the time learning Asuka. Like, that's true. Cause... If you saw me play, like, Soul Calibur or whatever, like, when I picked Cassandra, rest in peace, um, I, like, learned everything about that character. Yeah. yeah. But that could be the same for me, where I play Lucky Chloe. She's, like, arguably the worst yeah. character in the game. But yet you still learn everything about her. I don't know everything about her. Oh, well. I just <laughs> I'm just doing the five moves that are actually good or safe with her. She... Same goes with me and Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just do like, you know, pretty much debugger, down mm. back one, down yeah. four two. Yeah. Just all the relevant I, I guess stuff. It's, exactly. it's just for me, like I wanna feel comfortable in every single situation. So I just wanna be like, Oh, I wanna know what I can do here and like so that's why I learned everything about it. That's fair. Yeah, well, that's with, fair. But that two year rule, <clears throat> I think it's in general. Like, you will suck at Tekken for two years before. Hey, Tekken is a you, hard game to learn. So. Tekken is one of the hardest. I, I, I play other fighters. I beg to differ with that. I think that with Tekken, um, I think Street Fighter is way harder. I. Yeah, I, I probably yeah. would agree with you there more. Like, I remember when I picked Street Fighter, it was so hard. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I was playing Street <clears throat> Fighter when I was in primary. Yeah. And, like, the only thing I would do is fireballs, <laughs> dragon punch, hurricane kick. That's all I knew and everything. But, like, you know, to be good at yeah. the game is just <clears throat> really difficult. Really difficult. What's that thing with, like, every fighting game, though, when you first mm. pick it up? Remember when you first picked up Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Remember that? And then you uh, played me? And <laughs> yeah, you, you just bodied me every single time. And that was just a salt fest. <laughs> All the time, I was like, "Oh my!" I God. legit thought you were joking when you were like, that, "I man. was salty." <laughs> I, I was super salty. Was like I'm like, around. "I'm like, oh my God, man!" Who was I using? I was using Zero, right? You was using Zero. You were using Okami. Oh yeah, Amaterasu. Yeah. Yeah, and and <clears throat> everything. I was just like, "Oh my God, man! Kill me now!" <laughs> <laughs> this is Marvel. Yeah, Marvel's the vanilla one. Ah, yeah. Marvel. Yeah, that was that was just a pain, man. It was just like a thorn on my side. <laughs> That's why I sold the game. I'm like, you know what? what? Yeah, he sold the what game the out afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, I sold it. I I didn't <clears throat> like it. But that's why that's why I'm kind of like humming and harring about getting the new one. Uh, getting infinite. Uh, infinite looks pretty cool. Infinite. Looks I, cool. I like it a lot since they got rid of they nerfed like the the zero loops, the lightning loops and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. also what two characters now. Yeah. Yeah, that's like back to like you know. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 uh, it's two characters yeah Marvel well you had a side character which you can send out yeah, but yeah that, that's pretty much it really but um, no moving right along here um, this is my final question of the night is do you Julian because I know that you yeah. only play one platform but do you like um, PS4 more or PC Oh, ho, ho. Loaded, hey, I play on PC as loaded well. question. Hey, you PC, your PC is old, man. Oh, not my PC, but when your I... PC is like you know, I don't know. What, what should I say? What's the equivalent to your uh, PC? Like... Is... It belongs in the museum. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> it, it should in be in a museum. Um, this is a loaded question. So PS4, I have a pretty good PC. I have a really good PC. Um, I have. I'm still beginner on PC because I can't find any ranked games. Um, but I'm Overlord on PS4. So, um, PC is smoother. PC has better graphics. PC loads faster. You have Tekken Bot. That's like the pros. Didn't they get rid of Tekken Bot? Um, I, on, the, on the patch? Um, the patch? I think they fixed it. I don't know. We're waiting for them to fix Tekken Bot now that the patch comes through. Um, yeah, I love everything about PC. The only bad thing is online. I can't find anyone. That or... Dad banter's like gonna reset his rank for me or whatever. Um, is that even possible? Um, that's not. That's so not possible. Um, PS4. Um, I play a lot of PS4. There, I'm sure there's a lot of people who know that I play a lot of PS4 because I play on like several accounts. And um, yeah, I just like the fact that I can actually find people to play online. So PSC is great for practicing and using tech and bot, but PS4 is tournament standard and playing online. But you can't get good from online. Just gonna say that online's not a good training ground. Be- oh, I mean, it teaches it, you bad habits. Yeah, it teaches you bad habits, but it does teach you like matchup. Yeah, it like gives me human. Not human, the matchup really matters. Yeah, it gives here, me but... human contact. Yeah, and, like I can learn 
from people, but that's about it. And yeah, but if I can play with the people I'm playing with on <laughs> PS4, I would love to play with them on PC. I know Thomas moved, VG moved. Um, they recently bought a PC of Cord 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 Yeah, yeah. I built mm, a Fergus? lot of PCs. Yeah, Wait. I bought I built one for for Fergus. Yeah. yeah, and I built one for Abuji as well. Yeah, I can't believe I should be able to find Abuji since he's just starting on PC. I have I'm still beginner. I can't find anyone. I even changed regions, so maybe it's the time I'm playing or something, or people are dodging me. I don't know, but. That's that's just really the difference, mm. and I would love for more people to go on PC just to like increase. Oh, it's starting to it's yeah. starting to sort of tilt that way, I mm. guess, in a way because, as I said in my past podcasts, yeah. um, I actually think that PC is just so much easier to access. Yeah, and uh, you know you could be doing anything really. Yeah, you, know, you could be watching Rick and Morty. Oh, I love it. Or something, and then, and then you know, later on, you're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm like, just... Or, or one, you know, you could be playing PUBG. Yeah. You know, and then later on, you just say, okay, I just want to play some Tekken. You know, exactly. I, I don't want to fire up my PS4. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and, and, and like, you know, with bad load times and things <laughs> like that. You know, also, you have to pay for your subscription. You know, yeah. um, the other day, I was going to say, you know what, screw this. I'm going to actually just end my, my subscription on it. Oh. But then I forgot to. And then the free month came, and it took money from my account. It's like, well, why is why am I missing forty bucks? That always catches people out. Yeah, that always catches. People and then yeah, so I need to stop that because you mm. know I don't really play it uh, on PS4 that much. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you just yeah. ask a mate that plays a lot and just see if you can borrow his account and make the main. I one could, one. I could because yeah. Yeah, um, I can, I can I've do got that a mate that well, my flatmate. Yeah. He he's um. He's playing a lot of um, Rainbow Six Siege yeah. all the time. Why don't you just make his one the main one on your PS4? On PS4. Do you have to make it the main one? Yeah, yeah you have to make oh, it the primary okay, okay. one. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. not let uh, Sony hear this because it's an exploit. Oh, Hi, no. Sony. <laughs> I, I want to say, I have, I have 15 accounts on my PlayStation. You maxed out. I maxed out. I can't put any more on. I have one PSN account that is PSN Plus. I actually have multiple. So it needs to be the main account yeah. in order to play. So yeah. you make your right. PSN Plus one the, the adult and the yeah. rest of them are children and the, all the children follow under the adult so they can play any online game. That is how I manage my 15 account smurfing. You know, guys will never catch me, Sony. I have too many accounts. So they'll never catch you <laughs> they'll writing... They'll never catch me. They'll never catch you writing dirty, eh? No. <laughs> All right, so um, no, so Tom, you said that you played on PC, but you know you know. No, I it on whenever PC. I go over to Mike's place, which is more often than you would think, because his house is like, literally right next door to my work. So, um, yeah, we I play fuck ton of PC at his place. Yeah, okay. I'll be like kind of the early hours of the morning sometimes just playing. Yeah. Um, I haven't gone over there recently though, since he's always been busy, and I've been busy as well. But yeah, PC. You just need to start building a PC. And hey man, I've got yeah. the money. Yeah, I'll definitely build one. Well, don't you work like six times a week? Uh, you know, life happens, so. Life happens. <laughs> yeah, life happens. True, true. <clears throat> well, no, well, uh, I think that we should be wrapping things up now and everything. Uh, uh, it was really good, yeah. um, you know, interviewing you guys. Um, sad as you will, but like, I mean, uh, this is really a pilot of mm. uh, interviewing two people at once. Yeah. yeah. It used to be just, you know, always just a one-on-one conversation. But um, a three-way conversation is pretty good. You know, yeah. it's sort of less... I guess it sort of um, lessens the... Um, what's it called? The silent Exactly. Yeah. In, gives, in between things. Gives me a break from talking so much. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you just... Everyone gets sick of talking at one point. Yeah. But no, thank you very much for coming in, guys. Uh, but yeah, um, tune in for my next podcast. That will be happening on Friday, everyone. Uh, that would be with Civil and Rambo. It's going to be an awesome interview, so be sure to tune into that. Uh, also, Southern Cross up coming up there. Um, oh yeah, and if anyone wants an image, just jump on the podcast. I'll be more than happy to draw you. Yeah, right, yeah, so. definitely. Uh, that's just, just, why just, Rambo's coming on. Yeah, like <laughs> just, just just hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Like just go, hey, you know. I want an image. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, you know, if I'm not tired, nah, I'll, I'll draw it. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. But, no, um, yeah. Uh, also, like I said, with Southern Cross coming up there, uh, there's going to be a lot of um, uh, events coming up. Uh, so, if you guys aren't doing anything, just come on down, uh, have a few games of us. 
uh, be sure to hit me up if you wanna, uh, you know, if you wanna say a few things, um, you know, on the podcast. I have my phone with me. Uh, I can always record you guys if we find like a, a more quieter place. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll definitely play it on the next podcast um, and everything there. Um, I'll probably be printing out a lot of stickers. So, uh, so if you guys want a sticker uh, or, or something like that, hit me up, hit me up, hit Thomas up, or hit Daily up. And, um, you know, we'll have them all there. But, no, uh, thank you once again for um, for tuning in, guys. Um, definitely tune into the next one, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, what's up, Internet? It's Virtual Bacon. This is Cornova. Hi, this is Squishy Bob. Hey, this is NCA. This is Zazos. And you're listening to... And you're listening to... The Salt Shaker Podcast. The Salt Shaker Podcast. To the Salt Shaker Podcast. The Salt Shaker Podcast.